Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football. Kalen aboard this Alabama program continue to roll on the recruiting trail, landing another commitment from four-star linebacker Abdul Sanders Jr. from modern day. And you take a look at what Kalen DeBoer has been doing on the recruiting trail just within the last three weeks, absolutely crushing it and going toe-to-toe with some of the premier programs in the country. Abdul Sanders having offers from Ohio State, from Tennessee. This is another very impressive commitment and a prospect that is a very fun film study to watch. Want to get into the film of Abdul Sanders Jr. Talk a little bit about what he brings to this Alabama defense, and then dive into what Kalen DeBoer is doing on the recruiting trail before we get into it. And as always, just want to say thank you to you guys and a massive shout out to the Alabama fans. We have been extremely busy breaking down all the commitments for Kalen DeBoer in Alabama. It truly has been a blast. Many of you guys who've been listening for a while know this is one of my favorite parts of college football, talking the high school recruiting trail Cannot thank you guys enough for rocking with the fellas. If y'all do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. We'll be sure to keep you guys as updated as possible with the Alabama recruiting trail. And without further ado, let's get into Abdul Sanders Jr. And I think the first thing you want to talk about when you talk about Abdul Sanders Jr. in a very similar conversation that we had with Daryl Johnson the other day is, a very hyper athletic linebacker that can do the things that you need to do in the modern landscape of college football. I think Kalen DeBoer more than anybody understands what you need linebackers to do in this day and age. You need them to cover. You need them to go on the flat tackle running backs. You need them to carry tight ends up the seam. And Abdul Sanders Jr. has that all over the film. He's got phenomenal feel for dropping back in coverage, reading quarterbacks. eyes. He's got the length to deal with tight ends and slot receivers. And he has the athleticism to operate in space as well. This is a guy that, again, similar to Daryl Johnson, who we talked about the other day, kind of checks all of those athletic boxes that you want from linebackers in this day and age of college football. Want to get into the film. And again, a very exciting film study where you get into Abdul Sanders Jr. and what he kind of brings. I think the first thing that stands out is his feel in coverage. You're going to see as you fire this one up, they use him in a lot of different ways, but he's just going to trail this running back. And I'm going to continue to beat the quarterback's eyes. And when that football's in the air, I'm going to make a play on it. Make it the other way. You see the long speed. You see the athleticism that he has on the return. But I don't even know if that's the most impressive plays that you see where, I mean, Abdul Sanders Jr. working at that off-ball linebacker spot, he is so smooth in coverage, reading quarterback eyes, understanding what's happening in front of him and behind him, cutting off another play taking it the other way, it's rare to see linebackers in this day and age. It's rare to see linebackers at the high school level kind of resemble and show this much comfortability dropping back in coverage. A lot of times when you're taking a look at linebackers at the high school level, it's a lot of just, I'm going to see ball and get ball. And they don't necessarily show all the things that you want to see in coverage. A guy like Abdul Sanders Jr. certainly putting that on full display. He's got the link. You want to see him put on a little bit more weight. But I absolutely love these reps. Again, dropping back in coverage, a phenomenal feel for not only the quarterback's eyes, but route trees that are developing behind him as well. He's got really good instincts, reading the quarterback's eyes, getting his hands on a football. You want to see him bring that in. But again, Abdul Sanders Jr. just putting on phenomenal film as a guy in coverage. But make no mistake about it. Abdul Sanders Jr. is a guy that wants to get downhill and kind of similar to Daryl Johnson. I mean, he closes the gap, right? What did we talk about with Daryl Johnson the other day? How well he can ball hawk and kind of hawk down ball carriers. Abdul Sanders Jr. showing that exact same thing on the film, closing the gap between himself and the ball carrier at such a high level. Another play that I really like here is one of the most important things we talk about from linebackers is being able to work through traffic, take on blocks and shed blocks and make plays. Abdul Sanders Jr. kind of doing a phenomenal job, right? Really good instincts, gets downhill, working through two blocks, getting off those blocks, making a play. He's a guy that you see him rush the passer. You see him drop back in coverage. You see him go sideline to sideline. Again, checking a lot of the boxes that you want to see these type of linebackers have. And again, Really good feeling coverage, sees the quarterback getting out of the pocket, and he is going to go in space and make a phenomenal play 
Tackling in space, that is something that's vitally important at the college football level. Abdul Sanders Jr. making it happen, continuing to roll the film. You continue to just see the the variety and the, the ways that he can impact the game. Gets downhill, be, is able to diagnose what's happening in front of him at such a high level. That's probably what you love the most, right? You talk about what's so important for linebackers being able to diagnose what's in front of you and then combine the athleticism, they then go and make those plays. Abdul Sanders Jr. putting that on full display, working through traffic, getting behind the line of scrimmage, making plays. He's a, a kind of a highlight machine. And this is what's really exciting about him. Again, the burst and bang, getting behind the line of scrimmage. I am very impressed with the film, but even more impressed with what Kalen DeBoer has done on the recruiting drill in just the last couple of weeks, he has won some massive recruiting battles. I think, firstly, Daryl Johnson, a guy that we talked about the other day in terms of going up toe-to-toe with Texas A&M in Florida State, winning out for one of the most athletic linebackers in this 2024 class. You continue to scroll down the list. Derek Smith, again, one of the more athletic and kind of one of the better playmakers in the wide receiver class. Coming to Alabama, you continue to scroll down. Goes toe-to-toe with Hugh Freeze and flips Antonio Coleman. Zymir Smith, a guy that we kind of compared to Kool-Aid McKinstry when he committed. This is a master class by Kalen DeBoer. And there were a lot of people, including myself at time, that questioned, can Kalen DeBoer get it done on the recruiting trail? He has answered those questions in a meaningful way the last couple of weeks. Another big commitment. For Kalen DeBoer and the Alabama Crimson Tide. Appreciate you guys rocking with the fellas. Again, if y'all do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. Appreciate you guys. And we'll talk to y'all later. Peace.